Buongiorno Maria, a Zabat San Cache, lungo per favore. Mm. I'm glad somebody's happy. Sure I'm happy. What's the matter? You're not happy? No. Ah, you weren't happy when Mama was living with us. Now she's living at the priest's house and you're still not happy. You kept me awake all night. I never touch you. <laughs> you snore like a pig. I never snore. Oh, you did last night. I counted them. 25 times every minute. That's 1,500 times in an hour. You were asleep for eight hours. Last night, you made 12,000 snores. <laughs> so why do you not got a sore throat? You should wake me up. Oh, I tried. I kicked you in the leg. Did this wake me up? No, you kicked me back. <laughs> and then I tried to put one of your socks in your mouth. Okay, schifo. You ate it. Ate it? <laughs> Don't worry, you didn't like it. You spit it out. Oh, Santa Madonna. Morning, Dad. Not isn't it a lovely day? It was a lovely day. Your mama's in a bad mood. What have you done? Nothing. He kept me awake all night. Mum, you shouldn't be angry about that. <laughs> Why not? I think it's marvellous that at his age, Dad's got so much stamina. It's all right. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, according to statistics, people's sex drive tapers off in middle age. We weren't having any sex drive. <laughs> he was snoring. Oh, is that all? <laughs> oh, you better go and get dressed. You'll be late for work. Yes, Mama. Mommy, you still in there? Hey, I'm worried about Anna. Look, all she ever thinks about is the sex. <laughs> as long as she only thinks about it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, buongiorno, Tony. You ready for school, huh? School? Uh, oh, no, I don't feel like school today, but... What's the matter? Well, I'm a little crook. A little crook? <laughs> what, have you been stealing things? <laughs> it means you don't feel good. Hey, all right, you should go back to bed. Bed? Hey, sure, you don't feel well, you go to bed. Oh, I'm not a wet sick. Uh, how sick are you? Well, uh, I'm sick enough not to go to school, but not sick enough to be in bed. You got a pain? Yes, Papa. Where? Uh, here, in the stomach. I think it's appendicitis. <laughs> well, if it is, it's moved. <laughs> hey, Tony, why do you not want to go to school? I don't like school. Uh, school's not for liking. Mama's right, it's uh, for education. But they don't teach you anything useful. It's all rubbish. But what good does it do to know the capital of England or the average rainfall in Venezuela? It's uh, very useful. And if you want to go to Venezuela, then you know whether to take a raincoat, huh? <laughs> We're going to school, I'm going to take you on a taxi. Hey, it's over breakfast. Hey, don't worry, I'll have it later. Hey, get your school bag, huh? No, you can change something. No, it's not good night, <coughs> Mama. It's a good morning. School, sir. You gift. Oh, gift. Looks like water. Smells like water. <laughs> Tastes like water. It's hot your water. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now you be a good boy, huh? Yes, Papa. Oh, my God, Hey, Tony! Where are you going? None of your business. And if anyone asks, you haven't seen me. Mom! Mom, Bobby's calling you! Oh, I'm busy. What's he want? Mom's busy. What do you want? I can't find my jockets! He can't find his jockets. Which ones? Which ones? The red ones! The red ones! With the yellow spiders! With the yellow spiders! <laughs> well, Papa's wearing them! Dad's wearing them! Dad's wearing them! Dad's wearing them! <laughs> They're his jockets! They're his jockets! <laughs> There's nothing sacred in this house! It's a miracle. It's nine o'clock. You're out of bed. What's the matter? Are you sick too? I've got to be at uni early. I've got an SRC meeting this morning. Then we've got a rally in Hyde Park. And I've got to train for the football match on the weekend. <laughs> Why, you don't have lessons at this university? <laughs> lessons? Yeah, yeah, lessons. Like a minute to learn or something. Dad, every second of every day we learn something. Every breath we draw, we learn something. Every 
emotion we feel, we learn something. Every human being we meet, we learn something. I just learned something. What's that? You're a lazy bum. <laughs> Is that you, Enzo? Who do you think it was? A Savalis? I get you some breakfast. No, 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 Maria, sit down. Sit down, you work it too much. Hey, Maria, I've been thinking. You're not going to bring your mother back to live with us. <laughs> no, 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 no. Maria, you know, I've been thinking what a wonderful thing is the human brain. It is? Yeah, I read in the paper last night. You know, the human brain is to control everything all together at once at the same time I want to say. Take this cup of coffee. Now, my eyes... They see the cup of coffee, eh? send a message to the brain. They say, brains, here's a cup of coffee here. <laughs> so then the brains send a message to the mouth. Mouth, you fancy a cup of coffee? Sure, say the mouth. <laughs> so the next thing, the brain send a message to the hand. Hand, there's a cup of coffee here. You stretch across, pick up the coffee, and put it in the mouth. So the hand, stretch it across, pick up the coffee, and put it in the mouth. <laughs> Come to the Lord. It's a miracle. It's tea. <laughs> Yeah. Now you'll be late for work. I hate work. Uh, it's a wonderful family, they say. Antonio, I don't like school. Roberto, I don't like university. And you don't like to work. You don't know what work is. That's all right. You wait till you get married. I'm not going to get married. Hey, what, are you going to be a nun? I don't believe in marriage. It's old-fashioned. Oh, people still do it. I believe in a free relationship. Hey, you're talking about the sex again? There's yeah. nothing wrong with sex. You're too young. Dad, I'm past the age of puberty. Who's a dis puberty? <laughs> Forget it. I'm going to work. Hey! Just a minute. Now what? You're not wearing a bra. So what? Go and put one on. I don't like wearing a bra. Don't argue with your mama. All right, all right. Dad, could you do me a big favor? How much? Five dollars. Look, you still owe me five dollars from the last week. Look, I'll tell you what I'll do. Lend me five dollars now. Thanks. Here's the five dollars I owe from last week. <laughs> well, now that we're straight, I'll take this one. So I only owe you five dollars, right? <laughs> Sounds right, but I feel I lost the five dollars or something. <laughs> hey, be careful in the bar. What is it? Eh, uh, you're not gonna bring this. This is the holy water to bless ourselves with. Hallelujah. Why you always make a fun of religion? Because it's a load of rubbish. You don't speak like this. It was invented by men. It was invented by God. It's all in the Bible. I don't believe in the Bible. It's a fairy story. It's not a fairy story, sir. True, every word. Give me that. It's a fairy story. And I'll prove it to you. Oh, you prove it to you, Samari panties. <laughs> all right. <laughs> According to the Bible, first of all, there was Adam and Eve, right? Right. <laughs> and Adam and Eve had Cain and Abel. You with me so far? I'm a you. <laughs> well, Cain killed Abel. So Adam told Cain to get lost. So Cain went into the wilderness and took himself a wife. And what's wrong with that? Where'd she come from? <laughs> where did who come from? Cain's wife. Where'd she come from? I don't know where she came from. She may be just having a little wander in the wilderness. <laughs> you ask the father Murphy, he'll give you the answer. <laughs> I'll get her. I'm off anyway. Hey, I wonder what this is, huh? Maybe it's Mama back again. What does she want this morning? She come here to pick up the pole. The Pope, he was here. Our picture. That's right. Speak of the devil. It's Father Murphy. Hey, Father Murphy, hey, good, good morning, to see Mr. you. Chilli, hey. Mr. Chilli. Uh, little coffee, huh? I'd love one. Maria, cup of coffee for the father. There's no coffee left. There's a new jar and not a cupboard. Your mama took it for the priests. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. I think I better speak to her when I get back. Oh, don't worry, Father. You keep her the coffee. Yeah, it's not that. She charged us for it. <laughs> Porca miseria. Sit down, Father, please. Thank you. Does she look after you okay, Father? Oh, extremely. Uh, apart from the beef casserole in wine sauce she made last night. Did you not cook it well? Oh, it was delicious. Unfortunately, she made it with our last bottle of communion wine. <laughs> Mass this morning, I had to consecrate a chalice of wine sauce. <laughs> Sorry, Father. But apart from that, she looks after us very well. Ah, oh, that's a good father. Hey, Father, hey, I got a little question uh, about uh, the Bible, huh? Oh, far away. Hey, all right. Uh, father, first, uh, uh, there was Adam and Eve, right? Yes. And uh, they had a Cain and Abel. Forget. 
Okay. They begat Cain and Abel. <laughs> well, uh, whether they begat them or they begot them, they had <laughs> Now, uh, Cain, he uh, killed his brother, and then he went in the wilderness to find himself a wife, huh? Yeah, that's correct. Where did she come from? <laughs> <laughs> God works in mysterious ways. Uh, I knew you would have the answer, Father. Well, a drop of vino, eh? Oh, no, thank you. Hey, Father, this would take away the taste of that wine sauce. It's a little early in the morning to be drinking. <laughs> I've come to see you this morning about two things. Uh, firstly, there's a little matter of a broken window in the school. Uh, I think you know something about that, Mr. Machado? Me, father? There was a witness. Whoever it was, he's alive. <laughs> it was me. Oh, that's right, I remember. Yeah. What you been doing oh, in No, it's a little accident. Don't worry, I'll fix it. Uh, I'll pay it to fix it up, all right? Uh, the other thing is about Tony. I wondered how he was. Oh, he was fine this morning. Oh, good, but then we can expect him back at school tomorrow. What do you mean, expect him back? He's never been away. You're wrong, Mr. Pacelli. Tony hasn't been at school for the past two days. <laughs> what are you doing here, Sonny? Taking a bath. Now, don't get clever with me. Sorry. I saw you here yesterday. Why aren't you at school? Uh, I'm sick. Oh, yeah. You don't look sick. Yes, well, it's all on the inside, you see. They say I've only got weeks to live. Is that so? Well, maybe even days. What's your name? Harry. Harry. Uh, Harry what? Harry Smith. <laughs> Harry Smith, eh? Yes. Says so Tony Pacelli on your school case. Oh, uh, yes, well, he lent it to me because I'm sick and I haven't got long to live. Uh, all right, come on. Well, where are we going? The police station. We find out who you are and where you live. Wait, look. I'll give you a dollar to forget you saw me. A dollar? All right, two dollars and a Mars bar. <laughs> no deal. Come on. Just my luck. An honest cop. Uh, I look for him everywhere, but I can't find him. He's back in, so he's in his room. I should have telephoned. I'll speak with him. Oh, no. I think first you speak to the policeman in the lounge. Santa Madonna. <laughs> hey, good morning, Sergeant. I'm not a sergeant. I'm sure it's only a question of time. Eh? <laughs> oh, please, sit down. Yep. Now, about the car registration, I mean to pay it, but I forgot. Enzo. Maria, please, I know how to speak with the coppers. Car registration, eh? I'd better make a note of that. Car registration. You mean uh, you didn't come up by the car registration? No. Madonna Mia, the parking ticket. I meant to pay it, Inspector, but I lost it. Enzo. Maria, please, I'm speaking to the superintendent. I know what I'm doing. Parking ticket. You want to try for your hat trick? <laughs> Look, uh, whatever it is, I'm, uh, I'm sure we can fix it. Uh, <clears throat> how's about ten dollars? <laughs> like father, like son. Okay. Enzo, he's come about Tony. Okay. He's the one who found him and brought him home. Well, why don't you tell me? Mm, you'll not let me. Uh, where will you find a Tony? In the park. He was wagging it. Wagging what? I meant truant. He's not been at school. Uh, we know that Father Murphy tells us, oh, look, uh, why you stay away from school? Search me. Well, I must be getting along. Oh, uh, we'll be getting in touch with you about these uh, other matters. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> hey, you see this? One problem after another. Only your little boy, Tony. I want to speak with him. Tony! I want to speak with you! Enzo, don't shout at the no, boy. I wonder why I ever shout. Oh, oh that's time. Right. <laughs> Sit yes. Now, what's all this about you wiggling it? <laughs> wiggling it? Wagging, Enzo. Wagging, wiggling, what's the difference? You're not been to school. No, Papa. Why you not go to school? Well, it's Jumbo. Jumbo? You got elephant at your school? <laughs> no, no, Jumbo Johnson. He keeps picking on me. He's in our class. He called me Spaghetti Head. Why don't you punch him in the nose? He's bigger than me. 
Punch him in the stomach. <laughs> I like violence. Enzo, Tony's a good boy. He not punch anyone. Anyway, I can't fight. Hey, you're a Pacelli. Anyone tries a rough stuff with a Pacelli means a war. All the Pacellis are plenty good fighters, huh? Papayas was a Pacelli. He didn't fight anyone. All right, or maybe so. But I tell you, if the Colonel, he called the Pope Pius a spaghetti head, I bet you the Pope, he punch him on the nose. <laughs> All right, now you go back to the school and you give this big bully boy a knuckle sandwich. Fighting is a sin. All right, so we got a confession afterwards, you know? <laughs> Look, I told you, Papa, I can't fight. Don't worry, Tony. This boy's not going to trouble you no more. How do you know? Because your papa is going to speak to his papa and ask his boy to stop picking on you. That's right. <laughs> I am? Sure you are. What if his papa don't listen to me? You'll knock his block off. <laughs> me? Sure. You're a Pacelli. It means war, remember? <laughs> You sure this is the place? Yes, Papa. Number 421. All right. You stay in the car. No. No, I want to come with you. I want to see you really lay into him. I'm just going to talk to the man. I thought you were going to hit him. Oh, not straight away. <laughs> Maybe he don't know why he's a boy pick on you. <laughs> Too bad he's not home. Let's go. No, no, they didn't hear you. Mr. Johnson! Yeah? Uh, excuse me, please. No fruit today. Ah. Uh, we come back another day, when he's not so busy. Are you afraid of him, Papa? Ah, uh, Pacelli, afraid of nobody. He was, was only a little fella. Yes, he was. Very skinny. Skinny, yes. Uh, he was a skinny. <clears throat> Mr. Johnson! What do you want? I come to speak about a Dumbo. Dumbo? He means Jumbo. Oh dear, is he in trouble? Are you sure he's in plenty of trouble? You tell him to stop a picking on my boy. I couldn't do that. You tell him I smash you first in. Don't be like that. <laughs> if you son pick on my boy again, I come and I'm gonna pick on you. He's not my son. <laughs> Gee? I'm his uncle. You'd better speak to his father. <laughs> Billy! Loki <laughs> wants to speak to you about Jumbo. Oh, <laughs> Jumbo. He's uh, been picking on my boy. So what? Uh, you please uh, tell him to stop. He what? Please. <laughs> Get not. <laughs> Don't you speak to my papa like that or he'll smash your face in. Oh, he will, will he? My papa's not afraid of you. Is that so? Uh, go on, please, uh, go back to the car. <laughs> if your son calls me spaghetti head again, there'll be trouble. You're Italian, son. Yeah, we're Italians. Well, you are spaghetti heads. <laughs> right, that does it. Hit him, papa. Uh, uh, maybe we better talk it this over. Huh? Listen, sonny, your old man could knock the stuffing out of a cannelloni. <laughs> well, he can knock the stuffing out of you. He's a Pacelli, and that means war. I'm scared to death. See, Papa, he's scared of you. All right. Now we told him, we go. Slow down, Curly. You come here looking for a fight? Yeah, well, uh, I... Sure he did. Okay, you got a fight. Look, maybe we go away and then we come back. We and you aren't so busy, huh? Tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, in the park. He'll be there. he would better be. Now get lost. <laughs> Well, we did it, Papa. <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> Morning, Mum. Where have you been? To Mass. It's Saturday today, not Sunday. I've been to pray for your Papa to light a candle for him. Yeah, from what I've heard of this fella Johnson, he'll need more than a candle. <laughs> Is your Papa up? Yeah, he's in the bathroom. Not feeling very well. Go and tell him I want to have a word with him. Okay. It's all right. I'm here. <laughs> Enzo, you look terrible. Good. 
That's how I feel. <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. It's just nerves. All sportsmen get them. Once you start fighting, you'll feel different. Yeah, I'm gonna look different, too. <laughs> Enzo, tell this man you're not going to fight him. Ah, uh, Master Sifatoni's sake. It's a question of honor. Dad's right. He can't chicken out. He's got to go through with it. Even if it kills him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. So what do you think? I'm not going to win, huh? Don't worry, Dad. You'll be okay. I'll look after the cab till you get out of hospital. <laughs> I feel sick again. Good morning, everybody. Dad. I'm so proud of you. Hey, why are you crying? I don't want to see you get hurt. Maybe I'm going to hurt him, huh? You can always take an early dive. I'm fighting, not swimming. I mean, once he hits you, go down and pretend you're unconscious. Mr. Johnson hits Dad, he won't have to pretend. <laughs> Ready for what? Uh, I don't think it's your time yet, is it? You don't want to be late. Mr. Johnson might think you're scared. <laughs> you might be right. Enzo, tell this Mr. Johnson that you're not going to fight with him. He can't do that. There's a lot of money involved. What do you mean? <laughs> well, I bet ten dollars. You put money on the fight? Sure, to cast iron certainty. I'm glad one member of the family's got faith in me. Uh, don't worry, Tony. I'm not going to let you down. I'm going to win for you. Better not. But back to Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Oh, mamma! In nome del Padre, del Figliolo, dello Spirito Santo, riposa in pace. What was all that about? It's a prayer for the dying. <laughs> well, it's time we went, Papa. We? Oui? Well, I'm coming with you. Oh, yeah, me too. And me. I don't want anybody to come with me. Somebody's got to carry you home. I'm <laughs> going to do this all by myself for nobody else. Oh, Papa. Your father's right, Tony. It's a man's fight. Goodbye. Goodbye, Papa. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. <laughs> Don't cry, Anna. I'm not a dead yet. <laughs> Good luck, Dad. Be a brave boy. <laughs> Carl. Maria. <laughs> Don't forget to tell us what hospital I send you to. <laughs> Spaghetti ants, eh? He's chickened out. If I knew he wouldn't show up. Oh. You're wrong, you know. He's here. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's uh, nothing. It's uh, just a fracture. I can't fight a man with his arm in a sling. Why not? I'd be to you one-handed. Come on, Bertie. We're wasting our time. I'm a spaghetti head. <laughs> hey, Billy. We left a couple of cans of beer behind. <laughs> Just a minute. What's the matter? It was your other arm in a sling a minute ago. Well, to tell you the truth, uh, both my arms are fractured, but I only got one sling. Pull the other one. Okay. Are you trying to get out of this fight? No, I was afraid I might have hurt you. We'll see who's going to get hurt. Put him up! Ew! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, spaghetti, no, you're gone. Get, get shoot just the stand there, you. Right. Oh, my arm is in a temper. He's lying there. There is your brother. Gone. Look at him. Ah. <laughs> Virgine Maria. <laughs> Stop it, both of you. I was just about to hit him, father. <laughs> I'm surprised at you both. Two grown men behaving like hooligans. What sort of example is this to your children, eh? Well, it was a question of honor, Father. He called me a spaghetti head. That's no excuse for brawling in public. Sorry, Father. I expect to see you both at confession tonight. Yes, Father. And as for you, Mr. Johnson, I've had several complaints about your boy's behavior at school. If he doesn't mend his ways, he'll be asked to leave. I'll speak to him, Father. I need to apologize and shake hands. Shake hands? Apologize? Repentance is a condition of forgiveness. All right, I apologize. Me too. <laughs> All right. So I give him one with the right. Then he goes, huh? And he come up again. I'm giving him one with the left. Then he goes again, huh? And then I'm just gonna give him the combination. The right and left. 
Father Murphy coming to stop the fight. <laughs> you really gave it to him, eh, Dad? Sure, I'm for Charlie. Have plenty of big fighters, huh? That's good. Can we come and watch you the next time? <laughs> There's not going to be a next time. Yes, there is. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, well, I went out to play soccer and Mickey Williams fouled me, so I kicked him, and now someone's coming around to see you. <laughs> when are they coming around? Are you Mr. Pacelli? No, I'm not. I'm his brother. Mr. Pacelli went to Italy, never coming back. <laughs> Oh, 